It is called the mind principle. Even before man was created, even before universes were created, uh, I got the message. Even before the uh, universes came into being, there was no sun, moon, stars, no world, no humanity, no life. But in the cosmic, the cosmic aspect of the mind principle, which now is individualized aspect in us, see, that already was known to them. And they understood its nature then and there. Mind as such. See, to my knowledge, only there was only one other philosophical system which also insists only upon illumination, only upon realization. It uh, opts for no second. Only one other philosophical system, other than uh, the Vedantic uh, see, Indian system, that had the same knowledge of the mind principle, and that is Taoism. See? Taoism. And sometimes this reference to mind principle in Zen philosophy, because it borrows heavily from Taoism, though the technique has been uh, borrowed from uh, India to some extent, but the philosophy behind it is borrowed from Taoism. So they have this reference to mind principle. That is, mind per se, mind as such, mind by itself, not conditioned, not individualized, not the human mind, not any mind. The mind principle as such, as it evolved as one of the categories that came from the unmanifest into the manifest condition. And in their intuition, in their direct experience of this principle, they were able to say, this mind principle is by its very nature characterized by three see, qualities, mind principle as such. Don't ask why, because why is a wrong question in philosophy. Yes, you can ask when, where, what, how, you cannot ask why. Why is called the wrong question, because they call it Ati Prashna. See, you were asking the why regarding some state or something that occurred in a state of being when you yourself did not exist. And the mind which is asking the question, mind through which or intellect through which you wish to understand it, that also did not exist there. Then how you, even if someone told you, you will not be able to understand. And those there, if someone asks, why did God create the world? The answer is <laughs> silence. Because when you attain illumination, this question will not remain. Then everything will be uh, absolutely clear as daylight to you. And therefore, they were able to see that this mind principle First and foremost, the mind principle by its very nature outgoing. You cannot ask, why is a quart crystal piece always emitting radiation? Why, should, why not keep quiet? Huh? <laughs> it is doing because it is doing. That is, it, that is how it was created. It came into being radiating. Mind came into being outgoing tenderness.